Hey guys, what's up? This is Sangush Karmakar from Ayurveda and in this video I am going to give you a full detailed review on Institute of Engineering and Management which is also known as IEM Kolkata. So without further ado, let's get started. So Institute of Engineering and Management which is commonly known as IEM Kolkata is a private engineering college which is affiliated to Macout Maulana Abul Kalam Ajad University of Technology talking about NIRF ranking it ranked 101 in 2019 and it got a rank in between 101 to 150 in 2018. Mm, it has been ranked A category by NAC. Established in 1989, this college is more than 30 years old. So older the college, so is the placement cell. And thus several companies visit the campus for recruitment. Well, it is located in Sector V, Salt Lake, in Kolkata. Now, talking about the campus, um, it's a small campus, honestly. A three acre campus with just a basketball court in it. Uh, still, the college campus is well located in the IT hub of Kolkata, sector we saw Lake. So, that's a positive side for the college. Now, talking about the courses offered by IEM, it offers BTEC courses in six different disciplines Computer Science and Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Information Technology, Mechanical Engineering, Electrical Engineering, and Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Now, the fee structure. Well, honestly, it's too costly. It's way too costly than many other colleges in Kolkata or under WBJ. For just first year fees, you have to pay more than 1,30,000 which stands around 5.5 lakh at the end of 4 years. So you have to pay 5.5 lakh for 4 years of your BTEC. It's way expensive than many other colleges under WBJ. Now talking about how can you get admission in this college uh, you can get admission through the WBJEB counseling so you have to sit for either WBJE exam or the JE men's exam. Besides this WBJEB counseling there's a different quota called management quota so you have to pay extra money for getting into the college well let me tell you an important thing while looking for admission in this college you you may come across an exam called IEMJE let me tell you clearly that IEMJE is no way related to admission in this institute it is the entrance exam for admissions in University of Engineering and Management which is totally a separate college. Well, it is under the IEM group but it's not this college. It's a totally different college. So, please be aware of that. Now, talking about the cutoffs, um, you can see here is the list for WJE general quota for 2019 round 3 and JE men's 2019 general quota. You can have a screenshot of this. Uh, well, let me tell you one thing there is no reserve seats for SC, ST, OBC, or any other reserved quota. During the WBJEB counseling um, for this college, only the general quota rank will be taken into consideration 
and that's how students are sorted out now the placement which is a strong point of this college obviously you can see the top recruiters of this institute uh, the average package of this college remains in between 4.5 lakh per annum to 5 lakh per annum whereas the highest in campus package hit 15.5 lakh per annum now an important thing uh, when you will look out for this college you'll surely come across a fact that the highest package hit 40 lakh per annum where six students of IM got placed in Adobe but let me clear you one thing uh, yes this is true but uh, that isn't the in-campus placement those six students sat for an off-campus placement for Adobe where they got that 40 lakh package now food and accommodation talking about hostels IEM does not have any hostel of its own well the institute is linked with uh, some of the local PG's um, but the fees for that is still too expensive you'll have to pay around 40,000 per semester for having a hostel so it will be better if you get a separate PG or mess now talking about food there is a canteen AC canteen in IEM Gurukul campus uh, but the food there is pretty average so hands down from my side and these are the basic scenarios of food and accommodation in IEM now talking about the pros and cons which I think is the most important part of this video because this will help you choose the best choice for you well talking about the pros um, definitely this institute provides quality education also it provides fantastic placements the faculties are cooperative as well and you get a good infrastructure of the college now talking about the cons the campus life is not so good it's it's just a building with a basketball court well many people don't enjoy it really secondly when it comes to rules this institute is well strict enough even if you get just five minutes late you'll have to miss the college that day now thirdly social and sports facilities well there are tech management fest and the annual social fest but besides this you won't get too much social or sports facilities next is high fees definitely this is very much costly than many other colleges and WBJ then comes high pressure on attendance yeah you have to attend college regularly then comes the single job offer policy well really many students will hate this honestly this actually means uh, being a student of this college you can grab only one offer only one job offer be it in campus or off campus just one offer you are not allowed to sit for another job if you have already grabbed that one offer chance well like many other colleges the core branches lack placement here there are very few core companies which come in this college for placement well now my personal suggestion would be if you get a chance in this college and you want to just study and study and get a job then this college is a great choice for you so that's pretty much all about IEM Kolkata 
Hope you like the video. Do give this video a thumbs up. This really keeps me motivated. Also, share with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do hit the red subscribe button and click all so that you get notified every time I post a new video. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Peace.